another quick tip for you. When I first started bubble photography, one of the most frustrating parts of it was getting all kinds of shadows and reflections that I didn't want. So that can come from your setup, your boxes or your tables, whatever it is. If it's too close in towards the bubble, um, you're gonna get some weird reflections happening. Um, so what I do is I slide my setup as far away as I can. So this one can actually come out a little bit further. So basically what I'm doing is just pushing what is holding up my softbox. I'm pushing that as far away from the bubble as I can so it's not going to cast any shadows. The other thing is sometimes gl the glass that you use is going to cast um, some reflections. You're going to see it in the bubble image. So at times that doesn't bother me and I just leave it alone, but there are times that it's really noticeable and I, I don't like the way it looks. So I either will, well, there's two options actually, if you do wanna use the glass, is I sometimes put that like that to boost it up a little bit higher. Just the height of my tripod basically is what I'm doing. And then I could set the glass on top of a black sheet. And that does help a lot. If, if you have a black background, you set your bubble um, on top of a, a black paper, a black sheet, black fabric, anything like that, that helps to eliminate the reflections from the glass. The other option that I often do, I've been using a lot, is just a black cup. And this is just a little shallow black um, cup and I just set, set that there, and that helps a lot to really eliminate some extra shadows, reflections. So that's just a quick tip for you. If you are dealing with any, any kind of shadows that you can't figure out how to get rid of, that should help.